All right, for this lesson, we're gonna learn how to create a black and white text portrait. All right, basically you do sh mid-tones, shadows, and mid-tones of a person, and together they're gonna create a portrait uh, of words made out of a person. In this case, I chose Kobe Bryant. I like Kobe Bryant because he's an amazing, he was an amazing father, an amazing basketball player. And one of the things I really value about Kobe is his work ethic. It was monstrous. So I really, really deeply appreciate that of him as a person. So I chose Kobe. Now, this is the image that I started with right here. And here is what we came up with. All right. Looks like Kobe. It is Kobe. And uh, you have the image of his, uh, his um, one of his quotes in here making up his words. So here's how we did this. First of all, I want to show you guys. You're going to go to studentportfoliony.com, up here, student portfolio. You're gonna to go to student work, black and white text portrait. Once you're in here, you're gonna go click on this video and you're gonna to get the to tutorial for this. These are the hot keys you're gonna need, control I and control A for selecting all, all right? We're gonna learn layer masks, text layers, shadow adjustments and mid-tone adjustments. These are examples of other students' work, all right? We have Eminem, could be lyrics, Nas Ilmatic album, right? Taylor Swift, okay? Walter White, as we come on down, we have Guns N' Roses Slash, got a little Beyonce action, right? Coming around, Beetlejuice, you could do anyone you want, Frankie Baby, Sinatra, right? Uh, we have Drake, and you have uh, Billie Eilish, all right? You could do anything you want. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make these text portraits and the do's and don'ts of doing them. So, first thing you do is you get an image off of the internet. I got Kobe Bryant. I right click copy image look at the size 1200 roughly those are the size megapixels you're going to want to deal with all right open up photoshop i'm going to open up a brand new one file new after you have gone to the internet right click copy an image and you've gone to uh, photoshop and you went to new when you create it look it's the same exact size so you just hit create all right once again i copied it file new create Edit, paste. There's the image. Cutting out this image. Well, listen, you have two layers here. One is a white background. Make sure it's white. And then you have the other one of the image itself. Cut him out or her, whatever your subject matter is. Click on the magic wand. You should know that that is a valuable tool at this point. I'm going to hit delete. It's good. Come into here. I'll hit delete. Can I delete this? Nope. It takes up the hand. Okay. So really quick, I'm going to get super close into here. And you guys should know that the polygonal lasso tool... I could come in here, right here, and I'm erasing specifics. I am not going to spend this whole time showing you guys how to erase stuff because at this point we should be good at it. Highlighting it, coming out. I'm just going to take a second to erase the rest of this and then I'll come right back in a second. All right, it should not take me too long. I'm just going to erase these little things over here, over here, and make him look perfect. Actually, really quick. Magic wand will work right here. Boom. Delete, it's gone, and it's fingertip, boom, gone. History, those little accents in here, control D, are really important. So, um, this is looking good. Give me a sec, I'm gonna erase all this other noise over here, and we're gonna make him into a white image. All right, so now that I have Kobe totally cropped out, I have him against a white background, I am now gonna um, edit him. I'm gonna call this first layer original. After this layer is called original, in the original layer, I'm going to go to select color range. When you go to color range, hit the drop menu. In here, you're going to go to shadows, and it's going to give you a preview of what it's going to select. Okay, hit OK. Selects the shadows. You're going to go to edit, copy. Now, we are going to make a new layer. Make sure that if this is white, put it on black. All right, the swatch here. When you come into here, hold um come on this layer and you're gonna hit um alt delete and by holding alt delete it puts in a black image of it hit control d and it's going to deselect the image so now i have that one this will be called shadows next order of business is the midtone so let's come into here in the original layer select color range and you're gonna hit the drop menu from shadows to mid-tones. And you're gonna hit okay. Selects only the mid-tone image, parts of the image. You're gonna to go to edit, copy. 
after you've done that, you're going to make another layer. You're going to hit Alt Delete. And now, wouldn't you know it, shadows and midtones. Shadows and midtones are both placed in. Hit Control D. If I take it away, there's the midtones and shadows. There's the shadows, and this one is called what? Highlight it, midtones. Name the layer. Layers are named. We have the shadows and midtones named. Next order of business is to get words to put over him. Now listen, this is very important. You want to get words with some substance. I got a quote from Kobe Bryant. I really deeply appreciate the, his work ethic, especially besides being a fantastic dad, you know, and husband. We're going to copy this over here. We're going to come into um, Photoshop. Make sure that you click on the T for text. Make sure that it's going horizontally. You're going to click on the black. Make sure that it comes out in black. And make it small. You don't want it to be really big. So I'll make it like a size 12 start with and see how it looks. Click and then hit Control V. And now look, I have his words that just came out. No problem. If his words come out super big, highlight the words and make them smaller in here. Make them smaller. If they came out like this, the words, just highlight them and come to the drop menu. In this case, it'll be 12. Maybe I can even go to 11. All right? So the more the smaller it is, the more detailed it is. Go top left and make it flush. I am then going to go to the end of the words, and I'm going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to go to the end of it, and I'm going to hit Control V. I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to hit Control V. Now, watch something. You're going to notice something about my words. Um, they are all right, like uh, the word nothing in comparison with lazy people. Nothing in common, rather, with lazy people. See how they're all the same? Watch. If I do this, hit Control V, Enter, Control V, V. All right, Enter, hit Control V, V. You'll notice that the words are all leaving like a, a pattern in them. They're all the same, same words. So what you do is just delete a little bit. Delete some of them. You know, uh, go to the next line and delete a little thing of it so that it's staggered up. It's not exactly all the same, okay? Now I'm also going to highlight these and look at this. See where it says auto? I'm going to make it like, uh, let's see what 14 does. It spreads it. All right, so we'll go to like a number 10. And now the words are super duper close to each other, all right? So I don't know why that's looking that way. Let me backspace that. Let's get rid of this. Backspace it. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the character box a little bit out of the way because it is in my way. Move it down out of the way over here. You could even dock it over here if I needed to. Now watch. I'm going to highlight these words and I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to go to the very end and press enter. I'm going to hit control V. All right. It's a space. I'll hit backspace. Now it's uh, kind of stuck together a little bit. We'll hit backspace. Now it's staggered. All right. If you really want to copy everything now, click the magnifying glass, hold alt, back out. Click on the T for text. Let's highlight the whole schmeal. All right. And you're going to go to edit, copy. Now, at the very end, press enter, go to the very end now, and you're going to be able to hit, let's get a little closer. We'll come into here for T for text, come on into here, and we'll hit control V. All right, now control V, okay, control V. You see, notice how the words, I'll space it a little bit, control V. Control V, space a little, Control V, Control V, spacing a little, Control V. You see how the words are not exactly staggered? Um, I'm sorry, they're, they're not exactly in line with each other. Control V, Control V, space bar, Control V, and now I can put the words over him. All right, and I'm going to go to the very bottom now. All right, one more line, boom, done. All right, now watch. The reason that I made the word staggered, why, is because when you go into the example of other people's work, see how Walter White, see how the W is prevalent? You can kind of see that. Eminem, everything looks legit. 
But look at this. Everything is kind of patterned out. Nas, everything looks, uh, the shadows and midtones are equal. But look at Taylor Swift. See these lines that go through her? You want to avoid that. So in order to, another bad example of that is the one done on The Rock. See how he's got the lines going through? But as you move forward, Frank Sinatra, everything is flawless. This happens when you stagger the words like I just did. Stagger them. All right, next order of business. I'm going to call this one. I'm going to call this shadows. After this one is shadows, I will now call, I will duplicate the shadows layer. All right, and I'm going to call this one midtones. And this one will be called midtones, but on the midtones layer, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to make sure that the words are not bold, but the midtones are going to be regular. And I'm going to click the move tool and I'm going to make them a little bit offset so they're higher, so they cover more surface area. The shadows, I want to make sure that they are bold. So if I highlight the shadows, highlight them up, boom, they are bold. Everything looks legit good. All right, now we're ready for layer masks. In order to do layer masks, watch closely, please. Next order of business, and listen closely and watch closely. Here's how we do this. I'm going to do the shadows first. I'm going to take the midtones layers away uh, on both midtones and everything, and I'm only going to work with the shadows. So I'll take away the text also so I can see it in the shadows layer. You're going to go to select all, edit, copy, <coughs> excuse me, in the shadows now, in the text layer, in the shadows text layer, you're going to create a mask. You've copied it. You're going to hold alt, click on the mask itself. It turns white. You're going to go to edit, paste, special, paste in place. After you've pasted it in place, hit control D and control I. And now you have inverted it. And what you have just done is... If you bring this layer up, you have just created the shadows. Now let's do the midtones. In the midtone one, go into the midtones layer. Uh, you can take away everything. Just look at the midtones. You're going to go to select all, edit, copy. Go into the midtones layer now. Create your mask. Hold alt. Click the mask. It turns white. Edit, paste in place. Paste special, paste in place. Boom. Now control D and control I and now if I take this away if I bring back only my shadows and my midtones there's Kobe made from his words about hard work and if you take this away sometimes the shadows look better or just the midtones look better it's really based on the image okay but this is exactly how you would do it next order of business file Save as. You're saving this as a Photoshop document because you did a heck of a lot of work with this. So on the desktop, goes into your graphic design folder. Right click, new folder. You should save this in the beginning also up to your progress. And you're going to call this one black and white text portrait. You're going to go into there. I also do this. I copy the name of the folder, I'll go into the folder, and this is the name of the file. I match the files with the folder to make sure that everything is legitly saved in the right spots. So basically, you now took this image, all right, and then you made shadows, you made midtones and shadows, okay, and then you took those shadows and midtones and you made words out of them, all from going to the internet and getting a quote from somebody. There is absolutely no right or wrong with this. You could do any person that you want. All right. These are examples of students' work. Make sure that you stagger your words when you do it so that this way you don't get these lines when you're setting up the words. Listen, the most important part of doing this project is getting all those words staggered so that you don't have this, a letter R going all the way down the same. Okay. This one is great. This is all, this one too, beautiful of slash, however, would be done a little bit better. Beyonce too, but look at this one. You got Marvin's room staggered and Drake looks a little bit better. Billy Irish, Billy Eilish rather, you got, you know, you got the lines going vertically and horizontally. Frank Sinatra is perfect. I mean, old blue eyes came out great. So that's what you want to achieve when you're doing this. All right, have fun with it and... You know, teach me something about who you want to do a text portrait of. Thank you.